I'm here with Sally Carstens. Uh, she's brand manager for IQ in South Africa. And in an earlier episode, we spoke about the benefits of a good omega-3 and 6 uh, supplement for children um, and, and optimizing their learning. Now, something I have to ask you is the taste, because I've had um, you know, children smelling like fish. I've had children refusing to take fish oil supplements because they know they, they will smell of fish. How does this compete with, with other brands when, you, when you're looking at the taste? Okay, so in terms of taste, I think the first thing to re mention is that in the group of children where this specific formulation is indicated, we have children that suffer from sensory processing disorder. Anything that smells unpleasant, mm -hmm. that feels unpleasant in their mouth, they're not going to want right. to even consider. That's why you have different forms. You've got chews, you've got capsules, and you've got a liquid form. Correct, right. correct. So this allows the child really to make a choice. I must say that generally speaking, the older adolescent child, they like the straightforward capsules. They're easy, they're non, they don't look childish, so they think they're quite cool. And if they burp, they're not gonna smell their breath. They might in the beginning, but eventually, um, uh, eventually the, it, the, the, you know, it, it becomes less and less. What I can say and what I do say to parents is that just remember the physiology of the body. It's like a motor vehicle. So if you take your capsule mid-meal, you've got a little bit of food that lies on top mm. of that, that capsule, you're less likely to have the fishy bird. Great advice. Afterwards, mm. number one. Number two, once you've opened the, the bottle, keep it in the fridge. A cold oil will move to the bottom, it's a little bit denser wow. in, this, in the tummy and therefore again you will, you're less likely to have right. the repeat with any fish oil. Mm -hmm. We have the strawberry flavoured chews which then emits that fishy burp mm -hmm. because the flavouring, if you are going to have a, a um, and it's just that physiologically some people tend to burp after any type of oil, <laughs> um, you will then burp lip gloss versus burping right. fish. I'm going so, to have to stop you here. Yes. Just on the chews, a natural question, um, is it diabetic friendly? Absolutely. So they use nature identical strawberry flavoring. Right. And you will notice that the chews are not red in color. They actually are clear in color because we don't want to have anything synthetic in yes, the brand. And no E numbers. No E numbers because we know our ADHD group of children are very sensitive to these. Mm. So there's no colorants, no preservatives. We've got natural preservative vitamin E, which we get from soy, which is a very, very low percentage and you can chew or swallow the capsule depending on what so it's small specific. enough it's small enough to do okay, either i'm going to take it out and have a look at it while you talk about with the absolute liquid. pleasure one must remember and we, we do get consumers now and again who are used to the sort of sugary vitamin chews mm -hmm. um, which is is not at all what they are expecting this is an essential fatty acid right. and essential fatty acids are oils okay. so it's an oil if the child is concerned about the feeling the texture of the oil on the tongue yeah. swallow the capsule don't chew it okay it's that easy right right the other option that we have of course is the liquid yes and the liquid is something that whenever i bring it out if i'm busy speaking to parents or speaking to training in store i think there's that old memory of granny giving cod liver oil, cod liver oil. <laughs> <laughs> and the immediate thing is oh no i'm not going to taste it so yeah. today i'm going to ask you to do me a big favor no. <laughs> To, to, to taste the IQ liquid You're for sure, me. sure, because I have an open book face. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, it is a specifically um, sealed child bottle. Proof. So, a childproof bottle. Right. So, what I want you to do is I would like you to block your nose with one hand. Right. Are you sure about this? I'm 100% <laughs> sure about this. Okay. So, block your, block your, block your nose right. with, the, with the one hand. And the first thing I want you to tell me with your nose blocked is what you taste. Keep your nose blocked, what do you taste? Oil. You t is there any flavor at all? No. Now, now let your nose go. Now what do you taste? It's really pleasant. Citrusy. 
There we go. This Why is really is... nice. I have no objection to taking that. Okay. It really is a pleasant mm. tasting oil. The other thing for the children that are tactile that really can't handle the feeling of oil on mm -hmm. their tongue, we recommend that you pop this into a smoothie first thing in the morning. And from so, what age can children start taking this supplement? So they can use the, the, the liquid from age three. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've also got our older population who want to take an Amiga for maintaining Memory, cognitive, yeah, cognitive health, mm. etc. Uh, heart health, uh, uh, retinal uh, degeneration mm -hmm. as we get old and, and our vision becomes more poor. Um, and they also would, some of them prefer to use the liquid. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very, very pleasant tasting. And as I said, you can add it into a yogurt, you can add it into something sweet, something savory. I mean, you're not, gonna, you're not going to have any issue putting okay. a little bit of this on um, even your salad. That's obviously not how we want consumers mm -hmm. to use it. It sure. does have clinical properties. And one teaspoon of the oil is equivalent to two of the capsules in terms of the, the uh, omega-3 and 6 fatty acids. That's important to acids. know. And what's the Correct. dosage of the capsules? And did, the does it vary with age? No. So the, the dose of the capsule is the same whether you are 3 or 300. Okay. By God's grace, yeah. <laughs> so, so the dose of the capsules to start with, if you have symptoms that might identify that you have a fatty acid deficiency, these could be brittle nails, dry hair, excessive thirst, excessive going to the loo, allergies, food allergies, um, and cognitive mm, uh, symptoms, symptoms <laughs> where you're not able to concentrate, you've got poor sleep quality, mm. you might be suffering from mood disorders. Those symptoms clearly define that you have a fatty acid deficiency. Then we try and get you to take three in the morning and three in the evening. So that's six capsules a day of mm -hmm. either the chews or the caps for the first three months. I was going to ask. And that is, mm. that is to build your fatty acid pool. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, you can bring the dose down to just two capsules a day or one teaspoon of the liquid a day as your maintenance dose which is just topping that pool up right. all the time if you have breakthrough symptoms you can slightly increase your dose again until this the symptoms start to diminish and then you can re-challenge to bring the dose down again so it, we all metabolize essential fatty acids at different speeds children have a generally a more rapid metabolism mm. because they're growing very rapidly sure. we've got a slow meta metabolism but we might need more because Number one, we are larger in stature. Mm -hmm. um, and number two, our body's need might be greater because of ill living mm. earlier on in life. So sure. that is why the balanced mm. children are metabolizing far more quickly. So they still need a high dose. Adults need is greater but, and larger in form. And the stature. dosage between these two are also the same. It doesn't identical. matter which form, whether you choose or the capsules. So whether you choose the chews or the capsules, it's exactly the same. If you choose the liquid, then it will be your starting dose would be three teaspoons a day for the first three months. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, one teaspoon a day is your maintenance dose. And what are the capsules made of? So the capsules are made from gelatine. It is bovine gelatine. Um, and we do have international halal and kosher certification for this gelatine. So in other words, it has followed the correct procedure in the slaughtering of the animal. Um, there are no um, additives or, or synthetic additions, colorants, or colorants or nothing colors or anything like whatsoever that. in the capsule, whatsoever. Where do you source your fish from? Because that's quite a contentious issue as yes. well. So to make sure that we're not adding mercury when we're adding a, a fish oil supplement. Yeah, and I think that maybe is particularly concerning if you're looking at our oceans. And our oceans mm. in the northern hemisphere, um, because of population needs, are generally full of pipelines mm. um, and your, it's your shipping route. So the mercury contamination of the fish is much higher in the northern hemisphere than in the southern hemisphere, where we have cleaner, less polluted oceans. Um, so we source our fish predominantly in the Pacific Ocean, which is a southern ocean. Uh, in the IQ range, we have got particularly pilchards, sardines, and mackerel, uh, which are sourced at off in, at different points mm. in the world when the plankton level is very high. So they are lower in the in the in the chain than the tuna. Correct, correct, and they they also make sure that they move the fishing source right. to make sure that there's continuity continuation of the breeding stock mm -hmm. in that area so at the moment I know that we are sourcing off the coast of Chile 
mm -hmm. um, in South America, but the ships will move to obviously where the plankton becomes high, your fish source will then become mm -hmm. high as well. Um, and it's responsible fishing, which I think is important. That's very important, yeah, sustainable fishing. When you look at your Mamma Mega and your IQ Baby, these are DHA-rich formulations, much needed for the building blocks of the brain in the developing baby. So this is a different Omega-3 that one needs. We source those tuna also from the Southern, southern Oceans. Tuna. So it is a tuna source. Right. Um, and clean oceans and obviously no over-harvesting Right. Um, in terms of and you've got certification needs. for all of that certification for everything and every single batch so one cannot have a certificate and one certificate suits all sure. for every batch that's manufactured there's a new certificate right. so if a reader ever was concerned and wanted mm. a copy of the certificate for that particular batch if they supply us with the batch number we can actually get that certificate to them the Equizen brands actually go through two independent quality control tests that are done outside of our manufacturing plants so because they're independent the mm. the um, nothing can be hidden sure um, and going to two different sources ensures the level of lack of contaminants in each batch that is Great. produced and manufactured it's surely a very impressive product and product range and i'd love to have you back and talk about the baby dhea formulas perfect Thanks. i look forward to it Pleasure. thank you